Hello, my name is Katusha, your sexuality coach. Today we are expanding the topic of tantric sex. To learn more about the history of tantra and tantric sexuality, please refer to the video right here. I'll leave the link in the description below. And today we are talking, we're expanding it and talking about why would you even want to do it. Before we begin, please consider to subscribe to my beautiful sexuality channel when Aphrodite speaks and hit that like. Let's go. What is tantric sex and why would you even want to practice it? Tantric sex is a slow meditative form of sex where the end goal is not orgasm but enjoying the sexual journey and sensations of the body. The aim here is to move your sexual energy throughout your entire body for pleasure, healing, transformation and enlightenment. Do you know that many women have never experienced orgasm. And then another good half of them say that they've experienced an orgasm, but they don't, like maybe once in their lives or a few times, but they don't experience them at all. And it's very sad. So tantric sex helps to overcome those issues. How? First of all, it tells you, forget about that goal. Forget about an orgasm. Instead, focus on the sensations of the body and focus on pleasure. And then what happens? When you let yourself off the hook of that, I gotta have an orgasm, that pressure, what happens? Orgasm happens in the end. And not just orgasm, multi-orgasm, extended orgasm. And the same things happen for men. Tantra teaches men how to become multi-orgasmic. It helps with premature ejaculation and erectile dysfunction. If you don't have any of those problems, you might want to ask yourself, why would I want to practice tantric sex? Well, I'll tell you, there is no limit to the level of surrender and ecstasy that you can experience in your inside of your body. You would want to practice tantric sex if you want your sexuality to come fully alive inside of you, like in every cell. You would want to practice tantric sex if you want to experience the kind of relaxation that puts your soul at peace. To experience the level of ecstasy that connects you to this cosmic genius and creativity. Why do we drink? And take drugs because we crave that altered states of mind we want to forget about habitual daily experiences and merge with something greater to feel better to feel alive to feel expanded to feel rich in our bones and cells to be uninhibited so Tantra as a philosophy teaches you how to live in those perpetuated continuous states of ecstasy of connectedness to yourself to your partner, to your family, to the world around you. It teaches you greater intimacy, greater connectedness, greater presence, greater life. Only without a hangover, right? I feel like we take drugs or drink alcohol. What happens? Not that I feel, I know. That's an objective observation. Everybody knows that. When you take drugs, what happens to you the next morning? Like cocaine. I've never taken cocaine, but I've seen plenty of people around me who've taken cocaine, and I've seen that they were so high, life was amazing and fun at night, but the next morning, they were at their deepest lows where they were talking about suicide, right? As though you take that energetic credit, and then you have to pay it off. So let's talk about men's sexuality and tantra for a second. So we have this big myth that men's sexuality is very simplistic. But the truth is that men also experience this profound levels of ecstasy. They can also be multi-orgasmic. They can learn how to do that. Men can feel very deeply. And they for sure can experience those altered states of complete surrender and transcendence. So let's summarize. Why would you want to start having tantric sex? If you have any sexual dysfunctions like erectile dysfunction or premature ejaculation or an orgasmia, the absence of orgasms, tantric sex is a great way to go about it and to resolve those issues. If you're addicted to pornography or for women to vibrators or sexual fantasies, right? You know how many women are addicted and they can only have orgasms with their vibrators and not with their actual partners, right? It's very sad. And men, especially when they start indulging in pornography when they're teenagers, when they experience those hormones and, the, and they become sexually active, they start their sexual journey with pornography, which is detrimental, detrimental. 
So, and if you're a parent watching that, please educate your teenager, encourage them to meet with people, real people, date and have sex. It's normal when you're 15, 16, that this is when it starts. As long as they know how to protect themselves, as long as it's, it's not a taboo subject in the house, but, but everyone is open about it, normal about it, and educated about it. If your sex life is boring, you lost that spark, you can take it and awaken that sensitivity and that uh, sexual attraction to your partner or in general if your love sex and want to take it to the next level tantric sex might be the way for you thank you so much for being here please check out my step-by-step -step guide my testicle massage guide you'll find the link below please subscribe share like it i love when you comment and i will see you in my next video bye